Four out of five unions representing county workers have already adopted the changes. The new vote makes it mandatory for everyone, even non-union county workers. New county employees have a big change coming December 25th. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners voted Tuesday to bring down retirement matching from $1.50 for every dollar contributed down to an even one to one. A lot of this came about as a result of uh, influence from the community, from the business leaders, from LEBA, from the Chamber of Commerce and so forth. And so we listened to the taxpayers. County officials say the changes could save the county a little over a million dollars each year if all employees got on the new plan. Four out of the five unions representing county employees are already on board, but not the union representing sheriff's office employees. We wonder what the long reaching ramifications will be for those employees in both recruitment of those employees and the retention of them as the years pass. Another argument sheriff's officials make, county workers don't have a set benefits package like some private companies provide. We do not have Christmas bonuses, we do not have performance incentives, and we don't have profit sharing. All of those things are present in certain private sector employers. For now, their union is sticking to the $1.50 match and asking the county to consult an independent study to look at projected savings. But county officials say despite the matching cut, the new plan has its perks. While we are going one to one, it allows the, uh, the employee to put more money away. Employees can now put away 6.5% of their own money compared to the 5.2% they were able to save before. With county matching, employees can save up to 13% for retirement. Still, sheriff's officials are concerned the change will hurt prospects for new workers. Again, four out of five unions already are a part of this. This change will now include new non-union workers. All right, thank you, Jen.